Good evening all and welcome to YBI Foundation. Today's bootcamp is all about learning the winning model. The topic itself seems very exciting. Like, are there any specific models which always win or those have the highest probability or chance to win? So before I start this session, so let me have few things to share. Like you all know that there are, we always aspire that we will get the, the we win or, or we get the best. We always aspire. When it comes to modeling or when it's come to data science or when it's come to machine learning or deep learning, the winning means, so let's define the winning. What does the winning means? What is the meaning of winning? So winning means having the least error, right? Or the highest accuracy. So that is the ultimate objective we have, the least error or the highest accuracy. The winning in competition means the least error and the highest accuracy. So my question is, ki kya main sahi hu? am I right or am I partially right? What I'm saying, ki jo abhi statement diya ki our objective has to least error or highest accuracy. So is it correct? statement or partially correct incorrect to nahi hogi or you may also put that it is incorrect so how you will say that it is correct it is partially correct or it's incorrect now how you will say so let's define the scope that we are going to learn about the winning models so winning means least error sabse kam error ho ya model ki sabse achhi accuracy ho so am I incorrect, partially correct or fully correct? So here, when we are running the model, we have two type of data sets is there or two type of sample. One is called as a train sample and another is called as a test sample. You people are with me with me. Sometimes we have validation sample also, but I'm keeping the things very simple and straight. So let's, let's have only two samples here, train and test. So I am just forego the validation sample which we will use for the hyperparameter tuning. But we have a train and we have a test, right? So there are options, there are the possibilities that I am getting high and low, right? High and low. So let me draw it like this way. So I have a this matrix, right? This is about test. This is about train. I am talking about the accuracy. So this is a two by two matrix we generally use in corporate or in business. So it is about the accuracy of the model can be low, can be high. Now, first understand the meaning of this. So what I have drawn. So what I have drawn is basically there are four combinations are they possible. Like this is X axis, na? train. This is y axis test. So, like train is low and test is also low. Here, train is high, test is low. Here, train is low and test is high. And here, both are high. So, I am talking about low and high in terms of accuracy. Is it okay? So there are four possibilities now. So I am saying the low accuracy, high accuracy. So so in the train sample, we can find out. In the test sample, we can also find out. So what is the winning model is all about? So winning model is Mr. Konsa Hoga. So of course, if the accuracy is is here, low, low, what does it mean? Kuch naya bhi sikhte hai. Agar low, low hai, iska matlab kya hai? Ki train sample mein bhi accuracy low hai, test sample mein bhi low hai. What does it mean? Our model is weak model we have a weak model right so this is a weak model this is a weak model which is train sample may be accuracy come here test sample may be accuracy come here when we have a high in train and low in test ye model konsa hota hai and i know many of you people already know ye konsa model hota hai when training sample may accuracy is high 
but in the test sample out of sample or test sample or new data set accuracy is low what type of a, this data this model is called as me thoda recall karau thoda recall karau may i recall thoda recall karau रिकॉल करो अब आप बताइए सो आई एम शोइंग यू सम पिक्चर नाउ टेल मी व्हाट टाइप ऑफ द मॉडल इज इट व्हेन यू हैव हाई एक्यूरेसी ड्यूरिंग ट्रेनिंग टाइम मींस दैट मॉडल इज मेमोराइजिंग द डाटा बट पुअर और लो एक्यूरेसी इन द टेस्टिंग सो हियर द मॉडल हैज एक्चुअली ओवरफिट और ओवरफिटिंग मॉडल हमें वीक मॉडल भी नहीं चाहिए हमें ओवरफिट मॉडल भी नहीं चाहिए राइट नाउ देयर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी that we have like for example this weak model can also be called as underfit model so you have a underfit model like this which is this is a underfit model which is weak both in train and test this is a underfit model which has the low accuracy both in train and test low and this is the model which has high in train but low in test okay model is there so these are the conditions are there now come back to here our case now here high high is the winning model so we want or we aspire or we require a model which perform very good during training time and equally very good in the test data right so never get satisfied with only one we said training sample mein accuracy bahut achhi aa rahi hai test mein nahi aa rahi to kya so what no it matters it means that it is a overfit model it's not a good model it's not a winning model when the accuracy is low in both so of course it is a weak model and the chance of this quadrant upper left like right? so during training uh, you have low and high so this is a rare model this is the rare possibility or maybe it's chance i will say so by chance you are getting something like that but this is rare so by chance so so it does generally does not happen ki ha आप ट्रेनिंग में अच्छा नहीं करें पर ऐसा यह है कि आपके क्लास के जब टेस्ट हो रहे हैं तब आपने अच्छा नहीं करा पर एग्जाम में अच्छा करने सो इट जनरली हैपन वेरी वेरी फ्यू टाइम्स वेरी फ्यू टाइम्स सो अवर सो डेफिनेशन फॉर यू एंड मी इज नाउ वन दैट अवर मॉडल शुड परफॉर्म गुड और और बेस्ट ओके और हाई एक्यूरेसी ड्यूरिंग ट्रेनिंग एंड टेस्टिंग बोथ इट शुड नॉट बी आई इट शुड नॉट बी वन ऑफ दैम इट शुड बी बोथ ऑफ दैम राइट सो दैट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द विनिंग मॉडल now so let's talk more about the winning model you people know that there is a lot of competitions going on on different different platforms different companies and also during your college placement interview or during your uh, internship test the companies ask you some questions coding questions or machine learning questions where you are supposed to make some machine learning models and and solve those problem using ml or deep learning algorithms right there are many many competitions going on on kaggle by different companies like netflix amazon google from time to time and where the people across the board across the globe participate and and their criteria is only accuracy that, that how accurate your model is how accurate you are able to predict during the test sample so that is the criteria one of the criteria or the major criteria is the so the models who are considered as winning are actually not an individual model it's not an individual model right generally or i will say most often jyadatar most of the time the winning models are your ensemble model are your ensemble model is it clear now what is the meaning of ensemble what is the meaning of ensemble if i ask you that please define for me the ensemble the word ensemble ka meaning bataiye what is the meaning of ensemble meaning how you will define the ensemble how you will define ensemble in english it's a english word nothing to do with data science or machine learning as such so how you will define an ensemble so ensemble is a group first of all of what of musicians actor dancers for what 
for have higher performance for have higher performance to ye koi group nahi hai you can't say that it is a group of sparrow or it's a swarm of bees a group of bees right ye ye jhund nahi hai so it is a group with a special purpose of performer of models of artist to enhance the performance jab orchestra hai to ye ensemble hai right it's not a crowd done so whenever there is a group of people of different type so in orchestra we have someone who is playing the guitar someone is playing the tabla someone is playing something else okay so the, 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 there are different different quality of people are there performers are there and they perform and they create a they they give the higher performance right so that is the precisely the meaning of ensemble in english so it's a group of different but for purpose that the purpose is having a higher uh, producing a single effect as a group i do agree so that is precisely the meaning so the same word applies when we are talking about the machine learning model or data science model or algorithm so ensemble models are not just the, not the the collection of the models no the the ultimate objective is to having a winning having a higher performance having a higher train and test performance both right during train and test both we want to have a higher performance now so with this understanding let's move forward okay so it generally i will say generally yields and again i will write instead of generally most of the time you will find most of the time they will do better performance right so and it can be used so your ensemble models can be used for regression means y is continuous or classification means y is categorical so ensemble models are those models which perform very good perform superior having high accuracy low error and can be able to solve both that the classification problem means a categorical prediction and a continuous problem or a regression problem right now how this ensembling can be done now the people let me make understand like this for example you have battery or cell aapke paas cell hai 1.5 volt each humne 9th 10th mein samjha hai na ya abhi jo log engineering kare they already know it about it the people who are not from the engineering or background at least till 9th or 10th somewhere we have understood about the cell and how we can arrange now you tell me how you can arrange these cells or uh, 1.5 volt pencil cell we keep on using these cells in at in our home at our home in in our alarm clock in our calculator in our watches right your smart watches etc etc so how we can arrange so these are like for example for me this is a model for me this is a model say for example i i try to make the things simple so how plus and minus i do agree but what we call it parallel right so say for example if i add them to series like this positive done done so so one way is i can have this in series and another way is to have them in parallel done understand it we can have in the parallel okay so so you have different models different cells either in series and the parallel because i am going to send the same analogy to the ensemble model same uh, things we going to apply for the model so can we arrange the model in parallel can we arrange the model into serial and if yes how it is going to affect our accuracy how is it going to impact or how is it really going to work there now come back here so we see that there are many techniques like for example you can do averaging you can do voting you can do stacking but we are very much interested into something called as bagging and boosting if i think that there should be any take away from this boot camp in your dictionary or in your understanding should be the understanding about the bagging and boosting so your focus should be on understanding clearly what are the bagging models and how they work and what are the boosting models and how they are work done though averaging voting stacking everything is important but the two major takeaways from this boot camp should be understanding of bagging and the boosting 
ensemble models, winning models, right? So now move ahead. So how the ensemble works? Okay. So like for example, there is a story that there is a king, four sons, right? All fighting with each other. I see that story in our school time. So now the king want to teach their son the power of unity. So what the king done? There are sticks are there, and ask the the sons to break those sticks. Those are the weak sticks are there. So each one of them can break the stick. But when you put those sticks, the weak sticks, in bundle. in that case none of the son was able to break the bundle means a weak stick when combined together become strong is it so asi tha na story this is what the story is all about ki ek ek king tha apne ko samjhane ke liye ki bhai unity is the strength i think in maybe kisi na kisi form mein humne ye story padhi hai shayad is tarike se na padhi hogi maybe some other format mein but the moral of the story is that if there are the weak are there but if we put together combine together so unity has the strength so similarly the concept is about the ensemble so individually models individual model we call them as weak learner but but don't consider that they are inferior please don't understand the term though we are using the term here as a weak learner but it does not means that we are using something which is inferior which is of sub standard right so weak means that individually they are weak right but if we ensemble them like artist individually they are good they perform good okay so even if someone is putting a guitar it's a good it's he is a he is a very very good person okay as a artist but if in a orchestra the melody is at the another level right far 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 better if they are performing in a group okay the so same is with the model so individual models i am not talking about they are inferior they are they are sub standard they are having the large error no no that is not the meaning but we are saying that individual they um, as a weak learner we are telling them parking them as a weak learner and and if we put many weak learners they become a strong model that is the intention is there right so now how we are going to ensemble those weak learner or individual model individual models so there are many options are there say for example you have uh, you have used something as logistic regression okay or you have used the nave days you have used the support vector machine different different algorithms you have used so there is a two category that tomorrow going to be a rain yes or no so we have a weak model or individual models are there say three logistic regression says that tomorrow going to be a rain yes nay base say that tomorrow there would not going to be a rain no svm say that tomorrow going to be a rain yes now what is the max voting the answer is yes so this is one of the ensemble this is one of the ensembling so we go the majority wins right so maximum voting or majority wins so this is one type of ensembling very easy very straight forward so we try multiple models so in case of classification in case of classification what do you say majority wins and in case of regression say for example my problem statement here is not this right uh, classification but my problem statement is that how much rainfall going to be there right say for example 200 ml mm this is too much or like 2 mm 3 mm rainfall or 4 mm rainfall right so say uh, your linear regression model say this your knn model say this and your decision tree model say this 4 mm so what is the final outcome 2 plus 3 plus 4 how much 9 so this come out to be 3 mm then so 9 upon 3 so this come out to be a 3 so this is how we can put the things then so in case of regression problem we do averaging and in case of classification we do the our max voting right this is not still bagging and boosting this is something to start now comes to the our core concept which is the highlight of this boot camp or the winning models so there are two types of models are there one is called as a bagging and another is called as a boosting models now what is this bagging and boosting models are there so bagging means that you are using the different models okay which are working in parallel 
which are working in parallel different models are there different models right so say for example there is a model called as random forest so this random forest model is using 100 such different different decision trees models and then give you the final output or final prediction right so all are in parallel all are in parallel these models are all in parallel then so this is called as a bagging so you are aggregating you are you are working with the models which are running all the models in parallel so when parallel it is called as a bagging model bagging model is there now if it is in the boosting all the models are running in sequence they are running in sequence one after another this model this model this model this model and so on so this is the sequence now how actually it works well ab ye samjha to sahi chalo bagging matlab parallel mein hai boosting matlab sequence mein hai how is it make difference what is happening behind the scene when i say parallel or uh, sequence is there now so let's understand it by this diagram right so this is my data set this is my data set okay now let's from here first help me to understand the stacking so what is here happening in the stacking this is my data set say for example of 100 observations i am using logistic regression with on 100 observations here i am using decision tree on 100 observations here i am using the say nave base on 100 observation what does it mean in stacking i am using all the data set for all the model and averaging out where is in bagging where is in bagging the major difference so this is my data set say for example 100 observations 100 people i am using part of the data some random some random part of the data to do the run the model one this is my model one then i am picking or bootstrapping i am picking randomly some other sample of the data so this is working on sample 1 this is working on sample 2 this is working on sample n is it another sample is it okay so the difference between a uh, stacking or bagging so bagging means what if you have 100 observations or in your excel file there are 100 customer data 100 uh, people data are there or 100 student data so randomly you are running your model on 60 chosen model so what is happening here so my model is a weak model each model is a weak model because it is working on the partial of the data but if we combine or assemble them these are called as a bagging model and these model have a very high or superior performance than any other model so one technique is this what is the technique so there is initial data this is my initial data so i am collecting a random sample and on the random sample i am running model 1 model 2 model nf okay so this is called as a bagging model this is a bagging model the most famous bagging model is random forest random forest so random forest is nothing but is actually a collection of decision tree so jaisa kehta hai na ki forest mein kya hote hain trees hote hain so decision tree so random forest if i go to sklearn library and if i if you check here so you see that by default a one random forest model one random forest model by default run 100 decision tree okay so by default random forest run 100 decision tree model so aapko lagta hai ki you are running one model no it is actually 100 decision trees it is running to bring out one random forest now this is a variable which you can increase you can have 100 also you can make it 500 also you can make it 5000 also so that is the point but by default it is running 100 decision tree 
So that is the random forest. So random forest is one of the ensemble technique is there. So this is the ensemble technique. And then the output of each in case of classification, majority vote. And in case of regression, it is the average. It is the average. Is it clear? Because the random forest can be used both for classification and the regression. The technique is there or is called as an ensemble model. Then there is a technique called as a boosting. So boosting is what? It is in serial. Your models are working in serial. Aapke model serial. Mein. Abhi serial mein model kaise honge? Bagging we understood okay. So that they are in parallel. They seems to be in parallel. Like for example, all the models are working in parallel like your cell. Right? They are in parallel. So they are receiving the data, some random sample and they are giving the output. But how the serial will work that the models are in serial. So this is how they work. So this is the original data. You give it to the one model, model one. So this is my model one or first model. This is my second model. This is my third model and so on. Now this model will do some correct prediction. Aise hoga na? Jab hum model run kar rahe hain, kuch correct, correct prediction hogi. Some is incorrect. Predictions are there. Okay. Now this model, second model, will focus more on the incorrect prediction of the first model. Aise hai na? That's why they are called is in serial. Then the second model also do some correct prediction, some wrong prediction. The third model is focusing on the incorrect prediction of the previous model, means second model. And they do some correct prediction and wrong. And this will continue. This will continue. So this is called as a boosting. This is called as a boosting technique. Right. So your boosting technique, ka jo your word hai, wo kahan se aaya? have you people observed? Like for example, there is a one, say for example, 25 story or floor building. And you have to lift water to the top of this building. So how you will do? So you have something called as a booster pump. You have something as a booster pump is there. So what is this booster pump? It is nothing. They are the individual pumps are there. Water pumps are there. Individual water pumps are there. They may sometimes called as submersible pump or the booster pump. These are the different pumps. So what it will do? So this the first pump lift the water. Okay, or create a pressure, you can say, create a pressure. Now, the second pump work on the previous pump input and further add the pressure. You need pressure to, to reach to the 25th floor the, and the third pump further add a pressure to the previous pressure and so on and so on. Like means each, each pump is working on the previous one previous one previous one so this is called as a booster pump that's why these models are called as a boosting model boosting model because each of the model is working on the previous model in accuracy each model is working on the previous model in accuracy so that's why this is called as a boosting or you can consider them as that they are in the serial they are connected to so the input of this output of this model become the input of the next that's why they are called as a serial or the boosting algorithm. Right. So bagging algorithm is your random forest is one of the bagging algorithm. And the boosting algorithms like Adda boost, XG boost, CAD boost, etc. So there are many algorithms which are from the family of are from the bagging, and there are the many which are from the family of boosting, like gradient reboosting, adda boost, etc. etc. So there are many algorithms are there, right? So we have the algorithm both from the bagging and from the boosting. So we have bagging method. The most common is the random forest, and we have a boosting algorithms like adda boost, gradient reboosting, etc. So we have both types of models. Are there. Now the question arises: are this model always superior now there is some i said disclaimer right so disclaimer in the sense that 
then why there is a requirement or need to learn anything else than the ensemble model? हमें जरूरत ही क्या फिर सब कुछ पढ़ने की क्यों क्लास में क्यों नोटबुक्स में क्यों कोर्सेज में वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम अदर मॉडल विच आर नॉट विनिंग इफ दिस मॉडल आर सो गुड दैट दे हैव द सुपीरियर परफॉर्मेंस देन वाई वी शुड लर्न द नेब बेस देन वाई वी शुड लर्न द डिसीजन ट्री देन वाई वी शुड वी लर्न द लीनियर इग्रेशन और ओ एल एस मैथड this this question should come to your mind na if these models are so good and they are most of the time give you the highest accuracy or they are the winning model why we should learn the other models we should go straight forward apply these models so this is the biggest question ki if this is these are the rambar okay these are the ultimate desire so why should we focus on other things now there are i will tell you a one real story a real case this is the case about the netflix you people know that netflix is a tech company all right and their major thing is that right, for example their major business or major usp is that what they are into they are into distributing the content right they are distributing the content content in terms of movies content in terms of serials content in terms of audio video etc right so what they want they want their customer to be always engaged in their platform so netflix kya chahta hai कि आपने कोई एक सीरियल या एक आजकल क्या देखते हैं आप लोग वेब सीरीज देखते हैं तो आप अगर एक वेब सीरीज देख रहे हैं तो नेटफ्लिक्स का क्या है कि एक वेब सीरीज के बाद दूसरी वेब सीरीज देन द थर्ड देन द फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ यू शुड बी ऑलवेज एंगेज इन द नेटफ्लिक्स यू शुड नॉट गो टू द एमेजोन प्राइम और सम अदर प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक ओके विच एवर इज पोस्टिंग द वेब सीरीज सो वो चाहते हैं कि आप आए तो आपको मैं दूसरी वेब सीरीज दू मीन रिकमेंड सो द रिकमेंडेशन शुड बी सो एक्यूरेट दैट दे आर दे आर गिविंग द राइट टेस्ट to the amol to the amruta to udhay sorab and through etc so so that they want ki they always hook they always stay in their own platform so that is a netflix so for that netflix launched a global worldwide competition right so on the on the on that 2009 way back in 2009 they have launched one competition and the prize is dollar 1 million okay so dollar 1 million which is a which is a still today is also a great uh, very big price matlab 10 lakh dollar the price tha 1 million matlab 10 lakh dollar into 80 rupees kar lijiye aap tab us time pe shayad 50 hoga ya maybe 40 rupees hoga whatever it may be right so it is still a very very great huge of some of amount right as a price and they and their ultimate is to create a some model for their recommendation system and they have received the global participation and they have chosen the winning model also right so they have chosen the winning model also and they have given the prize also and the, they has been completed they have given the launch it also received the participation also then they, the, the, there is a team who won the dollar 1 million prize also and they start using that product also so everything seems to be very very good in 2009 but later on so this is all about recommendation so they, the netflix is all about that there are lot of many movies are like for example to dhruv we should be able to recommend the right movie at the right time so that the dhruv will be able to very much engage in my platform only right so 3 years later so 2009 they have completed 3 years later they have to abandon they have to discard or i will, will use abandon yani ki unko chhodna pada that model because the efforts required for the engineering efforts is or for the production is not substantial as per the accuracy gain agar main isko simple shabd mein kehna chahu iska matlab ki jitne efforts us model ko sustain yani ki run karne mein lag rahe the uske basis pe recommend karne mein lag rahe the jitne efforts efforts matlab time computation power resources etc etc और जो एक्यूरेसी गेन होती इज नॉट सब्सटेंशियल सो एनसेम्बल मॉडल्स मेनी टाइम्स आर वेरी वेरी गुड मॉडल्स प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट आर ओ सी आर ओ आई रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट ओके एंड सो ऑन देखिए एक चीज समझिए नेटफ्लिक्स के पास कितना टाइम है आपको मूवी रिकमेंड करने के लिए या वेब सीरीज रिकमेंड करने के लिए कितना टाइम आप उसको देते हैं इफ यू आर ऑन देयर ऐप राइट ऑन देयर ऐप हाउ मच टाइम यू आर रेडी टू वेट Till the next recommendation come to you, आप कितना समय देंगे Netflix को या किसी भी website को या Amazon को product recommend करने के लिए How much time you are 
you are as a as a consumer you are ready to give or you are ready to wait so there is a trade off like there is a rule of 3 so rule of 3 says max to max the customer is ready to give 3 seconds that's all max to max 3 second mein na bahut lagta hai kitna samay ho gaya max to max 3 okay now if you are using any so say for example now you have a choice or trade off ab aapke paas choice ya trade off real world ki main baat kar raha hu राइट रियल सिनेरियो की बात कर रहा हूं आपके पास चॉइस है आप एनसेंबल मॉडल यूज करिए विच आर गिविंग यू वेरी हाई एक्यूरेसी आई विल से वेरी वेरी हाई एक्यूरेसी और वेरी हाई रिकमेंडेशन बट टेक सम टाइम बट टेक टाइम ओके बट देयर आर अदर मॉडल्स और मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल्स विच आर गिविंग यू अर डिसेंट एक्यूरेसी और ओके एक्यूरेसी और हाई एक्यूरेसी ओके बट इंस्टेंटेनियसली इन ए वेरी शॉर्ट moment of time for a netflix like product netflix fix like business model which one you prefer for netflix like business model which will will you prefer what is the trade off very high accuracy and some time or 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 high accuracy but instantaneously which one you prefer ml like or ensemble like which type of model you prefer for this ml like we need need ml like now let's me change me change the decision For the scenario or business model, now it's not Netflix. It's healthcare. It is related to say about predicting the disease. Now, which type of model would you like to to go with? Machine learning model or ensemble model? Now it is about predicting the disease. Ensemble like. So I don't say that ensemble models are bad. They are the winning models. But again, it depends upon the business you are into, right? तो जैसे कहते हैं ना कि जहां पे अगर सुई से काम चलता है तो तलवार क्या करेगी या तलवार है तो सुई क्या करेगी सो यू पीपल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एज ए गुड डाटा साइंटिस्ट यू शुड पीपल शुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज थिंग्स आल्सो दैट एवरी वेयर एवरी टाइम एनसेंबल मॉडल डज नॉट वर्क डिस्पाइट बींग द विनिंग मॉडल और गिविंग दाई वेरी हाई एक्यूरेसी वॉट इज द रीजन बिकॉज दे आर दे रिक्वायर मोर कॉम्पिटिशन टाइम right they need more resources sometimes more data etc etc okay. so that's why machine learning model with so that's why we learn or we teach both the things machine learning models also and the ensemble model also but if you are talking about the winning model so if you go to the kaggle or any competitions most of the time the ensemble models are the winning models so that is the de facto they are the ensemble but in the practical scenario or in the business world or in the real world before adopting any of the model you have to think you have to understand the client or the customer requirement is the customer requirement is now instantaneously or the customer requirement is the accuracy it is about the money it's about the health etc or customer is is ready to wait for maybe couple of seconds and so on so that's why the trade off is there but yes so ensemble models are the winning model broadly they are of two type bagging and boosting bagging means that you are working in parallel and boosting means you are working in series like a booster pump or or a boosting mechanism which is working on the previous model error focusing more on the previous model error so try to correct the error of the previous model in the change where the bagging is all about creating a random sample a bootstrap sample and then do the classification or the regression so one thing bagging and boosting can be used both for the regression and the classification type of now there are few things we have the kaggle uh, account so you people can find the notes the material the data set related to our boot camps on our kaggle page uh, you can look at that and also if you go to our github account here you will be able to find we are continuously releasing some of the things are still work in progress kuch cheeze abhi bhi work in progress hai right but you will be able to find here the content we are releasing for the students right so whatever we are covering in our formal classes the notes the the quizzes uh, the assignments the projects we are putting for everyone each one of you okay so can access openly free of cost any time from our github page so so that you can do so you people can can keep a track of 
whatever is being uh, released time to time on our github and the kaggle account so agar aap do cheezon ke upar dhyan rakhenge including youtube also so if the, you keep on tracking on the these three things it will really going to help you in your learning so that is the one thing other than that you people can always join our telegram channel and i know most of you people have already done agar kisi ne nahi kara they can go to the our website and then can find the url of our telegram channel here whatever new content new story new study material new project new quiz etc we are releasing in open source we are also putting the link of that in our telegram channel so you people can also have telegram so either you can keep looking at our kaggle github and youtube or you can also be attached or connected with us on our telegram channel